So what is the difference between a house mouse and a wood mouse stroke field mouse? Let's have a little close look at them. This is your little house mouse. Quite small in stature compared to your field mouse. So you can see straight away there's quite a size difference. I'll put them like this. Okay. Now I've even got a little baby house mouse here. Look at the size of that one. Absolutely tiny. Absolutely tiny. And you can see the field mouse absolutely dwarfs it. Just for the technical guys out there, this isn't technically a field mouse or a wood mouse, which is exactly the same mouse, by the way. It's just got two separate names. This is actually a yellow-necked mouse. You can tell that because it's just got this, this yellow neck, basically, going across there. As you can see. Okay, but pretty much exactly the same mouse. Big differences, though, in treatment. You should never, ever, ever use poisons or proper name rodenticides on field mice, yellow neck mice, uh, wood mice, only to be used on house mice. And they should only be used on house mice as a last resort. The reason for that is because field mice, as the name suggests, or wood mice, they tend to live outside in a field in the wood. And once they've had the poison, it kind of makes them very lethargic and easy for predators to find and what we don't want is this to be half dead full of poisons or rodenticides is a proper word and it be stumbling around and a barn owl comes along or a fox comes along or a badger comes along eats this it ingests the poison so that's why you should never ever use poisons rodenticides on field mice house mice you can. If you look on your rodenticide pack, okay, on the side of it there will be a label and the label is the law. That's what we say in pest control and every pest controller should know this. It'll say on there, nine times out of ten, for use on house mice. That's these little dark guys here. It won't say for use on field mice or wood mice or yellow neck mice. It might add a little bit of confusion in there. It might say for use on mice, and then in brackets, it might have mus domesticus or mus musculus. Okay, forgive my pronunciations, I'm not an actual Latin speaker, believe it or not. Mus domesticus or mus musculus is these chaps, house mice. Little dark grey, no white belly, very important. No white belly, that's the big giveaway. Let me just put these up to compare. Field mouse, white belly. House mouse, no white belly. They're like a kind of weird grey colour all over. And as you can see, your field mice, they're lovely brown colour. And then underneath, they've got the white belly. Like I say, this one is a yellow neck mouse, because you can see it's got the yellow neck on there. But that's the only real difference. The size is also a giveaway as well. Uh, your field mouse will tend to be rather a lot bigger. Um, field mice as well. Let's get one with better eyes than that one. You've got a bit of a manky eye, that one. <laughs> so if we look at the eyes, okay, you can see that the field mouse, this chap, has got quite large eyes. Whereas your house mouse, quite small little slanty eyes really. Uh, not massive. And that is the main differences between the two. But really what we're trying to get over here is don't use rodenticides on these because you're not just killing the mice. What you'll be doing is killing all of those beautiful animals out there, barn owls, kestrels, you name it. If it eats mice, it's going to eat these. It's not going to eat these. One of the reasons you can use poisons on these is one of these in 12 months can turn into 2,000 mice. The big population of field mice is going to be, you know, 20, 30 maximum, I would say. So we can do this all with traps, and so should you, and trying to seal them out. Whereas house mice, they are so, so clever. And in fact, if you want to see how clever they are, what you want to do is watch this video that's playing behind me. 
okay and you'll see how amazingly clever they are this video is going to be here right now and there's also another video right here showing you just how hard it is to get rid of the dreaded house mice